Coach Oliver, thank you for the time today on uh, short notice. We saw the run here. You guys got to go to the Southeast uh, Regional. Obviously, our champions now get to go on to the Junior League World Series coming up as you guys will get ready to leave later this week and head to Kirkland, Washington for that. Just, I guess, talk a little bit first about um, how the Southeast Regional went. Give us some details about teams you guys took on and where it was. Uh, we played down in Salisbury, North Carolina. Uh, it was definitely interesting. New experience for all of us. We came up short last year with the same team. We were state runners-up last year, so it was nice to get down there. Didn't really know what to expect. Got in there and we drew... We had Virginia in our first game. We played South Carolina in our second game. Then we had two games against North Carolina that both actually ended up going into rain delays on us and restarts the next day. So we had quite a bit of adversity, but it was quite the atmosphere, and the girls just showed up, and we got it done. Coach, it's Dylan here. What do you what do you think was the, the biggest strength of your team that was really able to carry you guys through this, this championship? We just gelled really well, and everyone played great, but I do have to put, put it on our pitcher, Mackenzie. She's just a workhorse. She's an absolute animal in the circle, and she just she lights out. I can't say enough about her. Coach, I know um, typically with West Virginia being in the Southeast Regional, it's a tough region for baseball and softball teams to make it out of. Um, just what do you think this means for the state as well? just to have a team go this far? Oh, I think it's huge. I think it's huge. And I hope the girls are starting to realize the spotlight that they have now and how important this is and how much everybody's rallying around us and rooting for us and hoping we do well in the next step. What's the excitement been like from the girls uh, getting to continue this fantastic run that you've had and get to experience a very long trip all the way to the other side of the country? I think everyone's really excited. We didn't have a lot of time yesterday after the game because everyone had to pack up and head back home, get ready to head out. We actually are heading out Thursday to fly out there, so I don't even know if it's really set in on everybody yet, but we're, we're really excited. The girls are definitely excited and pumped up. What can you tell us about some of the logistics of, in terms of you know, what you have planned during this trip outside of just the games? Because obviously, you know, probably a, a, a part of the country that a lot of your players and uh, haven't been to, and if you have anything planned uh, while you're out there outside of just preparing for the games themselves? Uh, we're not really 100% sure on how everything works yet. We've been in contact with Little League International trying to figure out how it all goes when we get out there, and it looks like with the schedule they gave us, there isn't actually much time outside of the games and being at the park. So I don't know how much we will actually get to do outside of that. And there's a whole bunch of games scheduled. I think we open up Sunday against a team from Mexico. And then it just goes through game every day. They're on through. Coach, uh, Jefferson County as a softball area, I guess you could say, has really come on the last few years. You had Jefferson win the state championship. Washington had a good run last year at the high school level. So... Uh, as these girls move on through your program, um, I guess we can con expect now that to continue. Uh, just talk about, I guess, how you've seen the area grow in terms of the sport of sp softball and uh, continue to produce really good teams at the high school level as well. Oh, it's been incredible. I've actually only lived down here about seven years, but since we moved in, I started seeing it come up and up, and my daughter actually attends Washington High School, so she got to experience their run this year and now she's a part of this too and we have a mixed group on our team kind of split half of them are headed to washington half of them are headed to jefferson so it's going to be really fun in a couple of years when we all have to play each other but it is huge for the panhandle with just how much it has grown and how many girls are interested and even after our run last year as runners up the amount of girls that came out this year and got interested in the sport we had record numbers this year playing softball and it's just great to see it's great to see the sport grow so we're joined by Anthony Oliver. He's an assistant coach of the Jefferson County Junior League softball team. They are the Southeast Regional Champions, getting ready to head to the Junior League World Series. Coach Oliver, you already mentioned your fantastic pitcher in McKenzie. Uh, just give a shout-out, I guess. I know I'm putting you on the spot to try to remember all your players, but if you can do your best of just uh, 
letting us know who's a part of this great team for you guys. Well, I'll give a shout out to the whole team. We're going to start behind the plate. Shout out to our catcher, Briley, our first baseman, Kinsley, our second baseman, Gia, our shortstop, Kylie, our third baseman, Delaney, obviously our pitcher, Mackenzie, our right fielder, Kyler, our center fielder, Carl, our left fielder, Lexi, and our reserves, Taylor, Maddie, and Mariah. Perfectly done. There you go. Uh, Coach, uh, what can, you mentioned that you're going to be playing a team from Mexico. What can you tell us about some of the other teams that uh, are going to be in this tournament? Uh, our pool, so we start with pool play once we get out there. And our pool that we drew, we will be playing a team from Mexico. We're playing the central regional champion from U.S., which is Ohio. Not sure where they're from in Ohio, but I know it's Ohio. Then we're playing the Czech Republic which is Prague for that team. And then we also are playing the host team, the Kirkland Washington National District 9 team. So those are the only four we have on the books now. And as long as we take care of business in there, then we head to the big bracket for the eight team actual World Series round. Is there any way for people to keep up or, or tune in to any of these games? Actually, yes, we just found out that all of these games will be streaming on ESPN+. Plus. So if you go in, you just got to search for Junior League because it'll kick you into Little League as well. They're all televised from this point on, so you just got to find the Junior League games, but it'll all be on ESPN+, Plus from here on out. And uh, with that being said, I guess just one more time, let people know what time that first game is. The first game is Sunday at 1.30 against Mexico. All right, and one final thing, I guess, before we let you go, unless anybody else has anything. Um, obviously, travel's tough, and it's a spur-of-the-moment thing. How can, I guess, local community members, businesses, organizations, whoever, help uh, the expenses for you guys making the trip, or is this mostly covered now by the uh, Little League International with it being the Junior League World Series? Part of it is covered for... Uh, the coaches and the girls to get out there on the plane, but as far as meals go and for any family members or anyone that else is going out, none of that is actually covered. So we do have a link that is up on the JCLL Facebook page. If anyone wants to donate or would like to help us out on our run, you can go there, and there's a link on there to donate to the team. All right, Coach, thank you, and uh, good luck in the um, World Series, and we hope that you guys go far. Thank you very much. We're ready to give the world our best.